You probably already made the fudge in a regular baking pan. But how about this Christmas you try something new? Try to use cookie cutter to shape your fudge. First, create double boiler. Fill out your pot with a halfway with the water. Bring to the simmer and place a large bowl on top of the pot. Make sure that bowl doesn't touch the water. Start editing all your ingredients into the bowl. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. Sweetened condensed milk. I like to use room temperature condensed milk. It's easy to remove from the can. Unsalted butter, room temperature, and vanilla extract. Keep mixing together till damp chocolate and all ingredients melted together into the smooth consistency. Remove the bowl from the heat. Prepare a regular baking sheet with a parchment paper. I prefer to use pre-cut parchment paper sheets versus uh, parchment paper rolls. When you lay in flat, it doesn't roll or curl. It's always helpful. It's always helpful to get all your ingredients and the tools in the arm reach so you don't have to try to look for them around the kitchen while you're cooking. When choosing your cookie cutters, try to select cookie cutters that don't have very sharp corners or thin spaces between the walls. Place your cookie cutters on a sheet and lightly spray with the cooking oil. Start filling cookie cutter with fudge mixture by using a small spoon. Pack fudge into the cookie cutter with the back of your spoon and make sure that you are close to the all edges. Sprinkle peppermint chips on top and press chips with the back of the clean spoon into the fudge. Refrigerate fudge for minimum 2 hours. Remove your fudge from the refrigerator and use disposable gloves to remove your fudge from cookie cutters. Carefully start peeling off your fudge from the parchment paper. If you want, after this, you can wrap them in clear plastic bags for gifting, or you can continue process and remove your fudge from the cookie cutters. Gently push fudge down, starting from the edges.
Ilya, you got cute, Christmassy, chocolate fudge, ready for gifting.